have it in your mind. The power of brokenness. Amen? Amen. Passion. Married to a why. What is the why of your life? You know, many times I, I think God is looking for us to be inquisitive. You know, many times we never ask him, what is the why? But God has great purposes for why you were born, for why you came into this world. And God wants you to bring you. You will never find fulfillment in life until you come into the purpose for which God created you. You can try everything that you want. You can try every sin that you want. And it will never fulfill your life. You think about Solomon in the word of God. I remember Reverend Montalvo was here. And he preached that last message before my wife went into the hospital. And he preached about Solomon in the word of God. And how Solomon had everything that you could think of at his hands. He had every woman that you could sleep with. He could sleep with them. He had silver endlessly. He had servants endlessly. He had anything that he want that your flesh could want in this life. At his hands. And at the end of it all, he said this. Vanity of vanity, said the preachers. You and I will never be able to do it as hardcore as Solomon. Most likely by the grace and the mercy of Almighty God. And if he did it to that extent and said that it was all vanity and all nothing, then I'm telling you, it should give you a little bit of wisdom to see that there's nothing in this world. You know, the devil has a way of making the world look attractive and making it look like it's something. But it's nothing but a shell game that one of these hustlers are playing down in Brooklyn somewhere. It's just an empty game that leads you to nowhere. And you know what? You don't have life to waste to experience that is nothing. Learn early that is nothing so that your life can absolutely be used and brought into the purposes of Almighty God. And that other point to pray and think about tonight is execution and coming to that place of death. 